What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Spirit Change. Today I've got Ex Machina on 4K Blu-ray. I'm not going to get into the film itself. I'm going to talk about the audio and video quality. But before I do that, let's unbox this thing and see what we get inside. Packaging includes slipcase with matching case artwork, standard Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray, and digital download code. Now for some quick tech specs. The film is 108 minutes long. It's shot in 4K. It's got a 4K DI. It's rated R. Aspect ratio is 239 by 1. So if you guys are watching this on TVs, you guys are going to get the letterboxing on the top and the bottom. For those with projectors, scope screens, you guys are good to go there. So picture quality wise, the film was shot digitally in 4K, though you probably wouldn't think so from watching it. If you thought the 2K version was good, then this one is slightly better. I think stylistically it wasn't meant to have a razor sharp image. There's a soft defocus around the center of the screen for most of the film. I'm guessing to keep you focused centrally. Resolution gets a very, and I mean very minor increase over the regular Blu-ray. So noticeable scenes are of course going to be close-up shots. There is clearly a discernible increase in Oscar Isaac's face and beard in his close-ups. Individual strands of gray hair in his beard can be picked out more easily. There's also a scene of some mountain flyovers with a good bump in resolution over the mountain textures as well as some decent spectral HDR highlights. The only other HDR standout is going to be when Caleb and Nathan are outside. In this scene here, you're going to see that the ice is very vibrant, it's very bright, it's very white. You're going to see that this is kind of a recurrent theme throughout the entire film. The whole color palette is going to be very cold and very cool. Not very vibrant, not a lot of colors. Audio quality wise, the film is mixed in DTSX. and it was barely noticeable. You can hear the score in the overheads. Only a couple of scenes, the score will bleed in the overheads. It was nothing major. The only standout scene that I can remember is gonna be in the third act where Nathan is kind of looking through the closets. You can hear some sound effects going from the left to right, right in the overheads. That's the only real standout scene that I can really remember that kind of drew my attention to any kind of real special audio effects. Outside scenes, you're gonna hear some, some birds chirping, some water running, things of that nature. Nature effects, nothing really special. Also on the scenes when the power cuts out, there's gonna be a, a low and lard hard thump from your subwoofer. Other than that, bass in this film is pretty much non-existent. So if you're looking for any kind of great reference audio material, this disc is not gonna be it. So pitch quality wise, I'd rate this thing a 6.5. Audio, I'm gonna give it a seven. It had some engaging sound effects and a score that did get you involved in the film. Now is this movie safe for kids? No, it's not. It's rated R. There's some sexual innuendos going on here. There's some nakedness, some nudeness going on, some violence, there's some stabbing, there's some arm cutting, some blood. So keep those kids away. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, follow us on social media, and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys again in the next video.